Welcome to Tonga. It's about 500 or so miles south of Fiji. Comprises roughly 180 islands, and about 36 of those are inhabited. Malo lele, malo lava mai, kwaota ni wolfgram. So yeah, this is Pangai Motu, and on this little island we're standing on right here, there's eight people. We're going to put this little island of Pangai Motu into street view using the GoPro Fusion. Background is in academia. I was an anthropologist back in the day, Tony was in psychology. In the last 20 to 30 years we've been on this journey of working in small communities around the world, basically for indigenous development and helping communities to move forward in, in their own kind of self-discovery. We met some people from Google and Google Street View and they were talking about how wonderful it was and how you could see things and all these cities around the world. And when we said to them, well, you keep talking about, you know, London and New York and Paris, but what about the Pacific? Why isn't there any Google Street View in the Pacific Islands? Our goal is to Street View all of Tonga. Cookie made a rig for us to put the Insta360 on top of the car. We shoot in 8K, five frames. I tend to do segments of roughly about 10 to 15 minutes because it's a bit more manageable for stitching and uploading. The last part of the puzzle, of course, is that once we go, we have to have a team behind us that can keep the maintenance of the information up to date. And also perhaps go to some of the other islands where there's several people living. This is the island of Ava'u, Neafu, where my father, Tevita Tapuelwele Wolfgram, was born. This beautiful port of refuge for canoes and boats for thousands of years. This is our very first road and island in Vava'u that we'll be street viewing. In the last census there was about 194 people living on this island and then after this we've got five more villages on some of the outer islands. We're using a backpack so that we can have somebody fit on the mountain bike. Thank you everybody and all of our friends for actually making all of this happen and bringing us to Vava'u. Eyo. Hey, once you ride a bike, you can always ride a bike. Woo. As a Pacific person, core to our identity is we believe we are the ocean and the ocean is us. To bring that into focus with what we saw Street View is an ability for people to connect with their homeland, those that have left. There's also the ability for the global audience to look at stories about our identity. For, for Tongans, like the connection to the land and your village is just huge and everybody knows the village and land that they came from, but they can't see it. When I was flying today, I just was thinking about my dad, whose name is Devita, but he got kidney failure about um, six or so years ago. Kidney failure for a person living in Tonga is a death sentence. Fortunately, my dad had a New Zealand citizenship. He was able to get dialysis, but at that very moment, dad could not come back to Tonga. That part of him had kind of died culturally, you know, the spirit, like, can't be on my island anymore. If we had street view then, Dad could go back to Tonga, he could have gone to Vavau, he could have looked at his land, he could have gone to the beach. If he had that, at the time that they said you can never go back to Tonga again, that would have kind of lessened the pain because he could return in, in a really cool platform like Google Street View. I know he'd be really proud of the work that we're doing. It's a gift in the first instance to our own people, our families, our friends, our cousins and our relatives, but it's also a gift to the world.